Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing absolutely amazingly good. Amazingly? Is that even a word? <laughs> anyway guys, Happy New Year. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had an amazing Christmas and an amazing uh, New Year. Uh, I was going to film a what I got for Christmas video, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. So I don't know whether I should do it now or like just leave it. Um, I'm filming in the dark purely because my room is an absolute mess and I need to sort it out. I was going to do it whilst filming this video, but I was like, nah, is that right? Like, should I do it whilst filming a video? Um, so, anyways, uh, I've seen a couple of videos floating around titled Goal Setting, titled New Year's Resolutions uh a couple of titles along those lines and part of me was like should i do a video like that should i not i mean i don't have many new year's resolutions or goals i do have a couple of goals that i can talk about um i mean i wrote some stuff down on my phone uh earlier um because a lot of the time well i haven't done it for at least four to five months but a lot of the time I write down my feelings and I've just started doing it again which isn't good because um, if I'm not writing it down it means that I don't feel down enough to write about it or you know I feel that I don't have to write about it so it's kind of not good that I've got back into write, writing my feelings but at the same time it is really good because I can keep an eye on things myself, like how I'm feeling in myself. And if I need to show other people, then I can do that. I mean, in my support plan for Loughborough, it says that I do that. And I haven't done it since I've been there. So, And my uh, learning support was like, do you still do that? And I did say yes, but at the time I wasn't doing it. Now I've gone back to doing it, so that's not good. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. And hope my boyfriend doesn't watch this video because then he knows that I've started writing my feelings again. Oh dear. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I digress and I move on. Um. So yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna do my goals and my New Year's resolutions. I mean, like I said, there aren't many. I think there was eight that I wrote down, but I probably won't speak about them all. And, you know, I don't normally have resolutions as such, and I don't, you know, normally have goals. But I'm getting older, I'm 20 in like 29 days, or 30 days as Siri says. I think Siri is counting today, and I don't count today because it's already happened. Um, But it's four weeks anyway, pretty much. I'm, I'm nearly 20. I'm, you know, officially an adult in a year, and four weeks i mean you know they say you turn an adult at 18 but to be honest i think you turn an adult when you're 20 or 21 so um you know you're still in your teen years at 18 but they say that that's the official age for being an adult um but in other countries it's like 21 so i'm gonna class myself as still an uh, still an adult but not an adult so let's get into my goals for 2019 um so one of them is really random and really weird but if you know me then I don't do a lot of this but one of them is drinking more water I hardly drink water I hardly I hardly drink juice to be honest um when I'm over in Loughborough, I drink loads, but it's because they kind of, you know, say, "Oh, do you want to do you want to get a drink?" And I'm just like, "Yeah, okay, I'll get a drink because you're suggesting that I should." And then the other one is like, they normally offer you drinks, and I just go, "Yeah, why not?" Or someone makes you a drink, or you know, or or you just randomly make yourself one. And there aren't many small glasses. Like I have small glasses or small cups. I don't have pint glasses. But there aren't many small glasses, so I just have a pint glass and I end up having a pint of juice. It's like, whoa. 
but yeah, I don't drink a lot of water. And I have like a water bottle. I have water bottles dotted around my room at Loughborough. I have a water bottle on my um, bedside table. And I have a water bottle randomly stuck down the side of my uh, drawers. But I can't get to it because it's down the side. And if I could get to it, then I'd remove it and chuck it away. Because I have a, a water bottle that I can use now. Um, I'm tempted to get a proper water bottle but I don't know I drink flavoured water all the time so I get water bottles uh, quite easily and I just don't drink much water so <laughs> I mean even today I've had one and a bit cups of juice and that's not good so I need to drink a lot more water a lot more juice you know I mean, water's quite boring, and that's why I don't like it, and that's why I have no motivation to drink it. But I think, you know, it might sort of um, make me feel... I don't know. Will it make me feel energised? I have no idea. But, hey-ho, that's one of my New Year's resolutions. Um, sticking with, like, drinks and food and stuff... Uh, my second, although I've been doing this uh, in 2018, is to try, keep trying more more new foods. And maybe try foods that I haven't liked that I've tried, because apparently you have to keep trying stuff to like it. So I might just have to give it a go. But I have not a phobia, because I'm not scared to go near new foods, but I have a fear of trying new foods. But then again, it's not a fear either. It's just I think it's just a wariness and I don't know. I've been used to uh, like finger foods and foods that I know I like for so long. But it's get I will admit it's getting a little boring. So it's like, eh, what do you want for dinner? Eh, I don't know. Whatever. Um... But yeah, so, uh, number three is to continue to improve my confidence. Since, uh, being at Loughborough and R&IB, my confidence has steadily been improving. And I love it because I want to be a very confident person. I consider myself as a confident person, but over the years, I think it didn't help at college. Uh, those three years at college didn't help my confidence at all. I think that made it drop significantly. Um, but over the years, I have been quite a confident person. And then, like I just said, it dropped. And I want it to improve more. And I want to be, you know, this confident person who is very outgoing, can speak to anyone can ask anyone for help like in the street and say for example I'm catching the bus I get on the bus and I'm like hmm is this actually the right bus I will hopefully have the confidence to ask the bus driver you know are you going to for example are you going to uh Northampton bus station and they could say yeah or they could say no you're on the wrong bus I was okay that's that's fine I'll, I'll get off the bus you know but uh, a few months ago, I wouldn't even ha I'd say, you know, oh yeah, I will ask if I need help, but then I just wouldn't. So, um, right now I'm asking for help and I'm telling people when things are wrong and, you know, a few weeks ago, a few months ago even, like a few weeks, months, whatever, I wouldn't be doing that and it's just, you know, I should be doing that. I'm, I'm... A blind person who needs help sometimes so I should be asking for it if I need it and also my cane confidence has massively improved as well and I want to continue to do that so yeah um so I'm gonna have to look at my notes for the next one and I'll be back so the next one is to be more patient with myself uh the next one after that is don't 
get so frustrated with myself as well. So that's kind of the same thing. Um, I think I was, when I was talking about getting frustrated with myself, sometimes I can't do things and I'll get frustrated about it. Sometimes I get upset because I can't voice my frustration. Frustration? Frustration? What the hell? <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes I can't voice my frustration and it just comes out in tears. And it's not good for anyone to see and, you know, it's just not great. So I need to try... If, if I get stuck, I need to just take a breather and go back to it and I need to be more patient with myself so buttering toast I'm like I want to be doing this now and every time I do it like I'll get either loads of butter or not enough butter and I'll get slightly warm toast or really cold toast I don't like cold toast um when I'm here I can stick it in the microwave and that's easy done when I met my boyfriend's his microwave isn't yet adapted and I'm going to do that next time I go over hopefully um, and he's got a um, microwave with buttons whereas ours is a microwave with dials so what we've done on ours is put bump on a couple of the places where say for example it's one minute or it's two minutes or five minutes I think it is one minute two minutes five minutes uh, and sometimes I just time it by you know counting the seconds in my head so if I want 30 seconds I'll just count to 30 and take it out um, but yeah so it's a lot easier with our microwave also the one at Loughborough is also buttons and I haven't yet been taught how to use it uh, because I haven't needed to um, so yeah uh, I want I want to become more quicker at doing that but I have to have more patience and you know I need to just keep practicing it and um, you know learn to get the butter on my knife properly as um, <laughs> Harrison was saying to me you know you do it you scoop the butter but you know, normally you do it this way, and he he did show me, but I was like, in my mind, I was like, hmm, you're kind of being a bit critic about it. But uh, as well, in my mind, I was like, can you show me again? But I didn't ask him to show me, and I should have done. Um, so yeah, that's the next two uh, resolutions in one, basically off memory the next one is uh well i'm skipping a few but i'll go back um it is more of a goal than a resolution because it's to put on my own makeup and to do my own hair so basically i'm not really much of a girly girl i like my leggings and i like you know i like comfortable clothes i like my leggings my jeans and I like my boots I'm not um and my BKs which are like trainers for anyone who doesn't know what British Nikes are um but yeah I like comfy casual I'm a comfy casual girl I don't wear things to look well sometimes I wear things to look pretty but I'm, I'm comfy and casual I'm not like girly girl I won't wear skirts all the time I wear one particular skirt in the summer and that's it I wear dresses only in the summer or if I'm going out somewhere that requires me to look very pretty and very nice um then I wear a dress but I'm not a girly girl and but sometimes I do wear makeup and it's for special occasions or if I'm going out to a party well, you know I'm just wanting to look nice so I did get some makeup for Christmas I would show you but as I said at the beginning I'm filming in the dark um I got some um where are they okay I'm not actually sure where it all is um oh there we go it's at the bottom of the bag unfortunately um <laughs> 
end anyway, like I said, I can't show you anyway. But I got some eyeshadows, uh, some lip glosses, some brushes, some mascara. I think I got some blush or powder. Um, I think it's either lip gloss or it's cream eyeshadow, but there's a palette with some uh, cre like creamy stuff at the bottom. Um, I need to label all, all that makeup, which I'll do with my pen friend. I want to do a demo on that in the future. Uh, my pen friend, it's very handy. Um, so yeah, and to do my hair. Most of the time I just brush my hair, done, or I brush it and put a grip in my fringe so it's out my face. Eh, that's boring. And I want to do it myself. That's funny, it turns out, it turns out I've been filming with my back camera. And the flash on the back camera is auto. So if you've seen a few things, I apologise. <laughs> but it might just be the back of my case. So that's fine. Um, I've pretty much gone through all my goals and resolutions. I think the only one left was try and do uh, more and more for myself. Which, you know, ties in with being patient about doing things and you know, not getting frustrated. So a lot of them tie into each other. But yeah, um, another one I want to add is do more exercise um, because I would love to get fit again. I used to be fit when I was in school. Like I'd play, you know, football. I'd do weightlifting. I'd do all sorts. And now I wouldn't even um, envisage myself running around somewhere, even though I said I like to run and I like playing football. Yeah, I haven't played football in years and I haven't run anywhere in years. <laughs> so I'm not doing it again. Um although if someone paid me then I'd go, yeah, fine, whatever. Um But yeah, I think that's all the goals and resolutions for 2019. Um Like I said, I hope you had an amazing Christmas and a, and a good new year and I hope 2019 brings happiness and joy to everyone and I just hope it's a good year and I hope it's a good year for me too. Although I'm not going to say that it will be because it might not be. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. That would mean a lot. Also, don't forget to like and comment. Uh, like having ch chats with you guys through comments. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.